In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Mac computer, it could be a MacBook, an iMac, Mac Pro, Mac Mini, to your HP Envi 6452E or 6455E, any 64 something will work. I mean, I mean, if your printer looks like this one, even if it's a Pro model, the same technique will apply to you as well. So let's get started. First step is to put the printer in pairing mode. And to do this, you just need to turn it around and here you see there is a Wi-Fi button. You need to keep it pressed three seconds until the light on the front turns to purple. So I'll just turn it around so you can see. Right now the light is a blue color and I'll keep pressed this small button on the back. One, two, three. Now I can release it because the light turned to purple. We can set aside the printer and on your Mac, you're going to go into the App Store, the official App Store of uh, your computer, and you're going to tap HP Smart. Not like that, but with an A. <laughs> like this, H HP Smart. You should see HP Smart for desktop and you're going to download this app, the one that's having this logo. Then when it's ready, open it. You can close the App Store. On the first page, if you already have a printer connected, you're going to see it. If not, you're going to see add a new printer. It's a big banner, a big button you can click. If you don't see it, don't worry. Just click this icon over here where you see a printer with a plus sign. Then after a while, the computer will search for your printer and you should have a list over here and see HP Envi 6400 series. I'm going to click on this option. Then click on continue. Next step is to click on no tanks. And from here, it will say Wi-Fi network with your Wi-Fi network of your home or office if you're there. This is mine. Yours will be named differently, obviously. And you'll need to type the password of this Wi-Fi network. Once you're done typing the password, you're going to click on connect. Here they will ask you to press the I button on your printer and it's very easy. You see over here, there's an I button flashing. Just tap on it once and the setup will continue on your computer. Finally, you should have this green check mark saying that your printer is finally connected to the internet. Press the continue button. Then you're gonna click on the printer and scanners button this will open up. What you need to do is to click on this plus symbol over here. If you have a newer Mac with uh, the newer operating system, you won't see the same you won't see the same uh, window opening up. You'll need to go down and the plus symbol should be around here. Okay. Once you click this, you should see HP Envi 6400 series. Click on it on this list and then you need to click on add then continue then you'll be able to close this window and you should see success printer installed press ok and this is the main menu page of the HP app by the way if you want to scan or even print using uh, your computer you will absolutely need to have an HP account. Unfortunately, if you don't have one, and by the way, you can create one in just a few seconds by clicking in this corner, you should uh, see make an account something. Um, unfortunately, if you don't have an account, nothing will work. Now, let me show you how to print and how to scan using your Mac. So to scan is very easy, actually. This printer has two different scanners. One of them is located on the top here. This is great if you have multiple documents. Let's say you have a document that has four pages like this one. You just need to align them, put them facing up with the text facing up and with the top of the page first. 
glide them here then on your Mac you should go where you see scan so on their source you should select document feeder if it's not already selected and then you don't need to change anything unless you're uh, scanning some pictures if you're scanning pictures you need a higher resolution so where you see resolution here tap on this and select 300 dpi because this will give you much more details if it's just a text then 150 dpi is enough when you're ready press the scan button and wait the printer will take one by one each pages you don't have to do anything the printer has another scanner by the way that is located over here I can show you how to use it in just a few seconds when this is done if you're just gonna scan one uh, page this could be faster but for now we're just gonna wait if you're scanning pictures at a higher DPI this will take more time than what you see right now okay the printer is now done scanning and I'll show you how it looks on the screen you should have all the pages over here on your left side you can uh, scroll and see them if you want to rearrange the orientation just click this button and when you're done you can print what you just scanned you can actually save it on your computer I guess this is what most people will do and you can also share it on Facebook email or whatever so I'll save it over here you can give it a brand new name and under file type select PDF especially if you're uh, scanning some text because it will combine every single pages in one single PDF compression leave it to none press save when you're done and it will ask you where you want it to be saved on your computer in my case I want it to be on the desktop so I'll just press save and you'll have a confirmation that this is done now let me show you how to scan using the other scanner that the printers have you can close this and this other scanner is better like I said if you have only one page because you just have to lift it well, there was something there already take the page put it facing down this time and align it with this corner over here it means just glide it until it touches the corner then you can close the lid on the app let me go back to the main menu go and scan this time select under source scanner glass you can also select detect edges and for the rest don't touch it again if you're scanning a picture select a higher resolution than 150 dpi press scan when you're done and again it will just take a few seconds and the document you just saw is going to get scanned when it's done you're going to hear a small noise and this is the document you can adjust the edges if you're not happy with them just have to drag these corners and press apply when you're done finally the same thing we did last time press save or print or share I'll press save give it a new name and save it great now let me show you how to print a document uh, with your Mac before starting make sure that your printer actually has paper by pulling this drawer and you'll need to insert some um, blank paper there so let me do this okay great then on the computer you don't necessarily need to use the HP app you can actually use it as well by simply clicking on print photo or print document but uh, let's say I want to print the document I just scanned you know previously well you just have to open the PDF on your Mac and then you're gonna hold command and press P this window will open this is actually a shortcut and from here make sure that under printer HP and Vi 6400 is selected 
and then it's up to you to choose different settings here. I won't choose them because I don't know what you're going to print. But in my case, I just want the first page of this document to be print. So I'll select one to one. When you're ready, press the print button. You can even extend this and this. And you're done. This is the paper which just sent to get printed. So I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like. Also comment down below if you have some tricks for other people. Subscribe and I will see you in the next video.